It's Wednesday, February the 1st, 2017. Can you believe it's already the second month of this new year? And we're studying faith. We're getting encouraged in our faith. We're being built up in our faith through the word of God. So today I'm in Hebrews 11, 23, and it says this. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. Let's rehearse the story a little bit. The king had decreed that all male infants born to an Israelite family were to be killed. Pharaoh wanted to annihilate these people. You've heard the report. You're among those whose family is about to have another baby. The message is posted everywhere. Armed guards in the palace are checking out to make sure the edict is carried out. And the day of birth happens. For three months, you're able to keep the baby hidden. He survives, but you don't know if you can keep it up any longer. What are you supposed to do? And so you construct a makeshift ark and lay it in the reeds along the river. And you put this little baby boy's sister out in the reeds to keep a guard over that, that little ark and the baby inside. And then one day it happens. Pharaoh's daughter comes down to the river to take a bath. She's going to bathe in the river. And, and she sees this ark over in the reeds and, and she sends her maid to get it. And when she opens the ark, constructed out of bulrushes, there's a little baby boy crying in there. She knows it's got to be one of the Hebrews' children. At that point, Miriam comes out of the reeds and, and she asks Pharaoh's daughter if she wants her to call a nurse to take care and nurse the child. And so Pharaoh's daughter says, why, well, sure, go get me a nurse. And, and who do you think Miriam goes and gets but Moses' mother? And the rest is history, and it's a, a rich history at that, and we'll be rehearsing some of those pages in the next few days. Faith caused Moses' parents, Amram and Jochebed, to hide him for three months. Faith caused Moses' parents to not fear the king's command. Faith brought them to action. We can probably skim over this little note that they were parents, but I don't think it's worth doing that. See, don't you think that if even if you heard this decree as parents, you would do everything you could to protect your own child? I think most of us would agree that, well, that tends to be true. But there was something that undergirded Amram and Jochebed more than just being parents. That was that they had faith in God. They trusted God to such a de degree that anyone in rulership, any king who makes an immoral decree, they, it demanded, their faith in God demanded that they not obey that decree. Huh. I hope you heard that. When someone makes an immoral decree, no matter what level of rulership they're in, faith demands we not obey that decree. Faith permeates everything about this story. I believe that scripture teaches us that God responds to one's faith in God. You see, it pleases God when we trust him, and so he acts on behalf of our faith. And we can bear that out through this story. <laughs> Is it not God acting that brought Pharaoh's daughter down there to the river at that specific time? Is it not, is it not the act of God that it was Pharaoh's daughter who must have wanted a baby herself, that she would be the one discovering Moses' body, his infant body in this particular bulrush ark? Would it not also be true that it was God's intervention that Miriam was there she hadn't fallen asleep on, on guard duty. And, and she's the one that suggests, hey, I'll go get someone to nurse. Doesn't tell her that, well, it's Jochebed. It's his mother. <laughs> isn't, isn't God overseeing all these affairs and hear all these actions? You see, God was responding to Amram and Jochebed's faith. And he intervenes in the circumstances. 
Besides, the, the author, I believe, is attempting to prove to us that what he already stated, that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He won't hang you out to dry when you trust and obey. I didn't say God wouldn't allow the testing of your faith. He will. But God will be your storm invader when the waves threaten your life. He'll be your provider when everyone and all resources fail. There is no one like our God. Remember, our vision is this. That you be encouraged in your walk of faith today. Once again, we've witnessed the hand of God on behalf of someone who believes, trusts, and puts their faith in God. I pray you're doing that today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for encouraging our faith today with this scripture out of Hebrews 11. Two parents who decided to trust you when the decree was kill the babies and they saw you do the impossible we're looking for your hand all over our lives today and we thank you for being active in response to our faith amen have a blessed day